Hi guys, it's AJ Muñaca. I'm super excited because I feel like I, I mean, I've been excited for my other dolls, but Claudie Wells is just stunning. Like you guys know that usually American Girl with her stock pictures are just, it does not look as good as the dolls seeing it in person. And then as soon as Claudie Wells hit AGIG and I saw how beautiful she was, I had to order her. Um, this is actually a gift from my hubby. Um, so I'm super excited. She is stunning. So I just wanted to show you a little close-up Look how beautiful she is. She does have the Samantha Parkinson brown deco eyes I really do love her feathered shaped eyebrows. They actually look very realistic very 2000 um, 20 22 as we are now. I don't mind the eyelashes. I've seen people take off um the lower lashes which would look cute as well but i don't mind i don't think i'm gonna take it off i love her full lips her nose is so freaking darn cute and um as you can tell she does have these pastel colors which i'm all for it i love her little cardigan it is so cute and then her gigenheim kind of like a medium blue with the white and then baby blue in between it's super beautiful i can't wait to unbox her and show you in further detail claudia wells oh her hair this always happens oh my god all right i'm gonna do the little wig cap off remove it oh my god this is so uh, i don't want to mess up her hair her hair is so gorgeous guys oh my god and i heard she has an actual bow like a ribbon so it makes it all that much special it's a little bit hard to do on camera but we are getting it done Hold on. All right, guys, let me give you a little rundown. This is how her hair comes. It comes half up. And again, like I said, this is her little sweater and her dress. And what I love is that these are like kind of, it's not those shiny shoes that usually come. So her shoes look like the Mary Jane style, but they're not shiny, which I love. They're like that faux leather. It's super, super cute with some white knee-high socks. And then I'll show you the back of her hair. She has some kind of like ringlets in the front. And this is her hair in the back. It did get stuck over here, so these look a little bit funky. But her hair is so beautiful. Like, it just feels so different than Gabriella's. Um... I feel like that feels a different than 83's. So pretty. Love this little random bit. Wanted to show you Claudie without her little cardigan. So this is what the dress looks like. She does have bloomers underneath. These are faux buttons, but I like the detailing of it. And then it has the little Velcro on the back. Again, these are her little socks and the ribbon of her hair i think i will take her hair out and i will modernize her but i'll keep this outfit because it's super cute i want to show this so when i was taking her hair net out it got stuck with a ribbon and i did have to like tug at it and pretty much this is her hair um so i'm probably just gonna have to cut that piece off because there's no way of restoring that back so just be very gentle and careful with the hair tie i haven't heard anyone complain about it just happened to happen to me so yeah all right so i'm in the process of taking out her ribbon which literally looks like so just gonna pull it from under and we're going to kind of fix her hair oh it's in a little elastic so oh my god okay i cut it and now you will see, oh my God, look at her hair. Woo. It is a little crazy looking right now. I'm gonna have to fluff it and fix it. But that's what her hair is looking like down. 
there was someone on AJG whose her hair looked immaculate down, but that's not everyone's case, clearly, because look at this. I'm gonna have to play around with it, but it's very bouncy and very voluminous and just beautiful ringlets, honestly, so beautiful. All right, so I feel like I semi-fixed her hair. I'm definitely gonna use clips on the side um, because they were tangled. But for the most part, I think I will just clip her hair to the side like that because it's just a looking a little bit weird, but she's still beautiful. All right, the reason I have Claudie next to Truly Me 25 and Just Like You number 26, um, both of them on the side are on a doll stand, hence the height difference. But um, I heard that Claudie Wells is a lot thinner than the other American Girl dolls and a lot of the clothing fits very loose. So I have over here some measuring tape. We're going to measure. She's from, I believe, 2016 and I bought her off of someone, but she's an older doll. So that's pretty much why I brought them along. So we're going to see how thin her waist is. All right, hopefully you guys can, oh, we're doing this in inches and it looks like she's measuring at 10 inches, her waist. So now we're gonna do the other ones and compare. And now we have her. Let's go around again. Okay, so she's almost at 11 inches. I hope you guys can see that. Or maybe 10 and a half, yeah, like 10 and a half inches. This is the older, just like you, number 26. Put her back in here, and now we're gonna do. Mm. Again, she also is about 10 and a half to, yeah, 10 and a half inches. So not a big difference, I'd say. Guys, I had to show you her modernized. So this is a tank top from our halter top from Elite Doll World. I think that is also Elite Doll World. I'm not 100% sure. And then I did keep her little stockings and her Mary Jean shoes. And she just looks like stunning. Um, you know what's also interesting about her lips? They kind of look a little bit glossy. Um, and thank God that her vinyl doesn't look shiny on mine because some people posted that it looks shiny just like my Marissa and Yvette. But hers looks pretty matte, which I'm happy about. And she just looks like a queen that she truly is. If you don't have her in, her, in your collection, definitely get her. If you can't get her now, add her to your Christmas list or Hanukkah list, whatever it is. But she is a staple. She is top tier doll, top, top tier.